hide here is the shibori. Uh, uh, the shibori, I dye the linen and then I paint over it. So that's, I just thought I'd show you that little bit. bit. So shibori is, um, shibori is an ancient Japanese uh, resist dye technique. It's, uh, it's been around for, I think, thousands of years, or at least a thousand years. Um, and you, I like to say that shibori is kind of a combination of origami paper folding, if you've ever done, you know, like the paper folding. And it's kind of like a combination of paper folding and tie dye. We all know about tie dyeing, right? So this is kind of like a a little more precise way of doing tie dye. And there's a lot more techniques than just uh, doing the rubber bands. But, um, uh, and the word shibori in Japanese means to squeeze or to wring out. And that's um, mainly because you're, when you're binding, squeezing areas of the fabric, that's what resists the dye. So you, it's a, that's the way you get the pattern. Um, I love shibori. I just wanted to tell you why I like why why I'm attracted to it. There are a lot of people. It's pretty fashionable right now. I mean, you've probably gone to the stores and seen it in pillows and towels and a lot of dress, a lot of scarves and and whatnot. It's it's very fashionable right these days, and there's a lot of people doing it. Um, I like it. I like it because I, as an artist, I like uh, controlling things a little bit. <laughs> I like the idea of control, but, and then in Shibori, you it sort of, you go through a methodical process of uh, executing uh, the technique and then you have to let go and, and you have to let the dye sort of do it. And it surprises you. Every time I do some, I do this technique, I'm always think that I know what's going to happen, but I don't really know what exactly what's going to happen. And I uh, really love that quality. And I also think that there's something in the imagery that because because it's bleeding a little bit, and I feel like it's very ephemeral. It makes me think of like outer space or when I've gone swimming in the ocean or something. And it just it has that feeling. So this I, I wore this. Uh, shirt. This is a shirt I did. This is a shibori shirt, and I thought I'd just bring it because most of the colors that I'm going to show you in the in the um, patterns that we're doing is not this color. But I'm really this is this is one of my favorite combinations of colors. The the orange and the I call it marigold, orange and uh, and like a pomegranate color. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you I'm going to show you some of the shibori patterns that um, that I've done in the in the past and some of these you're going to be learning them today. So we're going to be basically executing three different techniques of uh, of doing this, and then at the end we're going to you we're going to practice on the cloth that you have, and then at the end we're going to uh, you're going to do your bag and the bag. The cloth we won't be dying, but the bags we will um, you will return them to the drop off after you after you do the bags you'll you'll uh, there's a name tag on your bag please please uh, make sure that your name tag you should uh, sign your name on the tag it's like a little piece of cardboard please write your name on the tag and then when you return it so that I can, I'm going to mark your bag with a permanent pen uh, so that we, when, we, when it's dyed, uh, we know whose bag is whose because <laughs> you know, you never know. They just come out and then you, 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 there's some way of, we need some way of identifying it. So don't forget to do your tag because otherwise I won't know who, which one is yours. Um, so if you have an iron set up, uh, you can use the iron. I'll I'll point out a moment while we're doing this while we're doing this for in which you can iron the creases. But I first I wanted to tell you about different kinds of uh, shibori pattern making. So this is one of the one of the uh, one is called kanoko, and it's called bound resist. And this is kind of the traditional one where you use rubber bands 
uh, or any way to uh, wrap the wrap uh, to resist the dye. This one is um, this one is uh, like the stripe pattern. Um, and then we're also going to do this other other technique today that gives you a grid like a grid pattern, like a squared pattern. And then uh, this is another version. If you if you did the folding diagonally, you could get this pattern, which is a diagonal square pattern. Um, and then we're going to do also. There's another uh, another called um, Seca Shibori, which in Seca means starburst, and that's because of this um, this kind of I don't know. It's not much of a star here, but in some of them, they turn more into a star. This one looks more grid-like. Actually, this might be grid. Um, and these little lines, these little lines here, the thin lines, if you can see that, that's, that's where we're doing the binding with the rubber band. The bi rubber band lines show through. So you can see there's like really beautiful detail. And then this is also, this is more like the starburst. This is, it looks more like a starburst pattern. And we're gonna do this also. And then this one is a combination. So you have the starburst on the pat pattern on the top bottom, and then you have the stripe, just a bind stripe on the top. And then not in this workshop, but in the next workshop, we're gonna do some of these uh, patterns that are uh, called kumo patterns. They're kumo in Japanese means cloud or spider. And it's it's kind of like this spidery, spidery, like a spider web pattern. And this is different ways of doing the kumo. This is where the the spider web is in the middle. I mean on the edges. And then uh, this is called um, this is is I don't know what this one is. This is well, this is the Kumo also, I think. But this is where we are doing circles, and um, the circles will uh, we're going to be doing that in the next workshop. But so you can see all the variety you can get. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? So this is another one. So you can mix and mix some of the patterning. And then one that we're not going to we'll, we'll do in a later workshop is called pole wrapping. It's also called arashi or storm in Japanese, and that gives you this. I don't know if you can see this, but it gives you this beautiful striation, these lines that are like like a rain, supposedly like a rain falling down. Here you can see it really well at the top here. So that's a scarf and and then some of another um another is called shape resist it's called itajim itajime something like that um and that's in this one the resist is with uh you use shapes that you fold in with the cloth this one you guys have done this you've all done this one and this is done with paper clips this is you can see the paper clips up close right there. So there, those are my examples. So, um, so I'm going to teach you the, the the first thing we're going to learn is we're going to learn the folding technique. And this is uh, take out your cloth, and we're going to fold it in in an accord. I call it a uh, an accordion fold. You're basically so if you fold your cloth in half and then press press the crease. Sometimes I just use my nail. So now I have a line across, right? So you're going to use that line as your guide for because we're going to we're going to fold it into four sections. Now it's in two sections. We're going to fold it into four. So first you fold the bottom edge into that crease. So now it's like this. So I folded the one edge up to the crease. And now you're going to reverse the fold. 
Now you're going to fold that same section back on itself. So it's kind of going back and forth. Like that's why I call it an accordion fold. So it's like this. So this is the first fold and then the second fold goes back on itself. And then you go in reverse again for the final fold. So when you're done, you should, you can push on the edges. This is where you can, if you'd like, you can use an iron. I have a trusty iron. If you, if you iron the edges, you get a nice crisp edge. It's easier to sort of work to the next step if you have an iron here I'm by. But some of you have, I think if you have this white cloth, then uh, it, it, it folds pretty tightly, so you don't really need it. So you should have. Oh, shit. I got teddy bears on now. What y'all folding? What folding this? What y'all folding? Is we folding this? What? Are we folding the, the thing with the teddy bears? No. Yeah. Yeah, we're just practicing folding. Oh, okay. Okay. You said a white cloth. I'm like, man, it's colorful. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Some of, have, some of you have colorful cloth. Yeah. The teddy bears. You don't have to. You don't. You won't be dying the teddy bear cloth. <laughs> but okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Does everybody got it? Raise your hand if you're. If you're confused. So we can... I have stepped away from the computer. I don't know what's going on. Oh. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. You want me to start? I'll start over. You Thank start you. Over? Don't Thank think you. Said you're having a little trouble. Yeah. I have it now. You got it now? All right. I'm going to do it one more time. So first, you're going to take your cloth and fold it in half. And then open it up. So now you have a, a crease line across the, across the cloth. And now we're going to we're going to basically fold this into four sections. The first is fold up to the crease and press that. And then you're gonna fold it in the opposite direction. So you're going back and forth. And when you're done, you will have two folded edges on one side, and then you'll have one folded edges surrounded by the ends, the single ends on the other side. Can you hold up your pieces if when you're done so I can see? Yeah, you got it. Do you have a knot? London. Do you have an do you have an iron? Yeah, iron those creases. So I you got it looks like you got it right. I have this cloth you got material. It. You got it. And I'm trying to iron it, but it don't really look like that's what it is. So I'm gonna go back over it again so it can look like yours. Okay. Maybe I should. Let's see. I wish I could. Let me see the edge, Dominique. The, let me see the edge so that you have it. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Good, Dominique. Thanks. Tina's looks good. Tina, you look like you got it. So like if I open it up, it's like this. So you don't just, you don't just like keep folding, folding like your roll. It's not a rolling fold. It's a back and forth fold. You fold the first section, then you turn, pick it up and fold it in the opposite direction. Then you pick it up and you fold it forward again. All right. I see.
see yours. You got the creases, so what PM Branch, yeah. This Sheila. 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 So you got the creases. So so keep it as uh so creases. So fold it back again. Looks like okay. you got so fold it so it's a long strip like this. Okay. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Show it to me when you're ready. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right. All right. So if you have the iron, make sure you, you crease them. You don't have to, but because it kind of holds. All right. So now the next step, this is we're going to do the square fold. So now we're folding it, doing the same thing we did, but this time we're going to do it lengthwise. So we're going to, so lengthwise, you're going to fold it in half. Right, like that. And then the fold, the, the crease is down here. And I'm going to press that. And then now I have half crease again. See there. And so I'm going to, I'm going to use that as my center and fold back and forth. Again, same, same way of folding. Now we're just doing it lengthwise. Okay. So now, so now again, on one side, we have two fold, two, uh, two folded edges. And on the other side, we only have one folded edge. Mm -hmm. Could you read that it. again, please? Yeah. So I have this. Jordan. I'm going to fold it up halfway. So now this is I folded it, folded up. I folded this up mm -hmm. halfway. Now I'm going to fold it backwards. And now forward. So that's how I end up with these two folded edges. Like this. Let me see. Yeah. Is it like this? Yep, you got it. No, is, is it like this? It's uneven. Yeah. I don't know who's talking. Let's go in. If you show me, Nakisha, it looks like you have it. Sydney has it. Let me see, Sid. Hold it up closer. I can't see. It looks like yeah, you got it. Did hers. Turn it, it around. Good. Let me see. Miss Gwen, it looks like you did yours right. It looks good. Good. Okay. Yeah, Miss Gwen's got it right. Dominique said hers good. right. And Dominique, you got it. And Sydney, you look like you got yours. Branch. Yep. Sydney, it looks good. Okay, Branch, fold it up so I can see. Yeah, you got it. I can see it's working. You got it. I got it. How about Maribet? Nope. You want to try again? I mean, mine's looking way different than everybody. I <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real, though. <laughs> It's well, hard to it's well, hard to watch on a video. Some of you have longer, you know, it's not always But this is bigger than you know, this to be. Yeah, you have a bigger one. You have a bigger one. Just go back and forth on the accordion. You I mean, do I do that back and forth, but it'd be coming out like six times. That's okay. That's it's fine. I mean, yeah, that's okay. So I did it like this. A first. I'm sorry, you have a bigger one than everybody else, Maribeth. So Lord. Just Two more folds, but just make sure you just go back and forth, back and forth. But just okay. do more of them. Okay, I will get it. Do you necessarily have to have an iron? Right, because this no, you don't have, have to have an iron. You don't okay. have to have an iron to okay. do this. You don't really have to have an iron. Okay. It's just like because once we do the rubber bands, it holds it in place anyway, holds the creases okay. in place. I'm going to wait for Maribet to. So she's doing the she's doing the first fold. Right? Right. I think I got it. 
Yep, you got it. Okay. Wait a second. Wait a second. Let me see the other edge. I think I got it. You can't see it. I think okay, you just you didn't do you didn't do like eight six folds. Okay, let's do this. Let's do no, this. No, 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 no. You can do it <laughs> however you want. I mean that's variable. I could I I could do this. You know I could do six, eight folds. I don't have to do it. I'm just showing you simple to be simplify things. You know I could do that many folds. It doesn't really matter as long as you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on the folding. Because when I've done these patterns that I showed you, they're 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 not just they're not just uh, four folds. They're more than that. It depends on the size of the fabric, how big you want. The more folds you get, the smaller the pattern. The bigger, all of it, do all folds have to be even? No. And sometimes I get a loose end, and I, I just it's just that you want the thing to be, be a rectangle at the end or a square. So it doesn't really matter if you have like one, uh, the last fold ends up, you know, uh, you know, a half of what the other ones are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't look, I mean, that happens all the time. Okay. You got it. Okay. Got it. But now, now go, now do the same thing in the other direction now. So lay it down uh -huh. and fold it back and forth, back and forth again. Lengthwise, you got it. All right. Well, All the right. rest of you, grab a rubber band. A rubber band. All right. Okay. So you're going to grab it, and then you're just going to wrap the rubber band around one end. Are we still doing it like with the square? Yeah, you can. Actually, you know what? Yours is kind of big, so I would fold it in half now and then rubber band it. Okay. If yours, if it's really big, like mine was really small. So, uh, is but this if you one have, big? If it's, if it's like, if it's, you know, yeah, I, have I would. Two. Yeah, Sydney, fold well, I would fold both of those in half, Sydney. Okay. This one, yeah, and like this? yeah. Yep, and now rubber band one end. Okay. okay. Oh, there are, you know, oh, big. Big. Let me see yours. Like this. Yep, that's it. Now put one on the other end. Okay. okay. Put one on the other end so you end up like this with the rubber band on both ends. There you go. You got it, Branch. Now, now that this the, the one thing about this is the tighter the rubber band, the crisper, the more uh, light and darkness you'll get in your pattern. If it's if it's not tight, then there's a bleeding will happen, you know, under the rubber band. So you really want that rubber band tight. When I'm doing a lot of folding like this, I sometimes rubber ru rubber bands, you know, they kind of get my thumb, so I wrap tape around my finger. But you don't have to do that now. And then like if you did a napkin, uh, this is a napkin I've done. Uh, and I would, you know, it's very big, but actually this is not the square. Where's my square? Well, I don't have the square, but here's a square, really big. This, is, this would be a napkin, which is what I showed you. I fold it in half and then rubber a band. Okay, so what you just did, everybody, Here's my sheet. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so what you all just did, if you put this in the die, this is what you just did. Can I see the rubber band part again? Hmm? You want to see the rubber band again? The rubber band part. How you, am I supposed to fold it up again? How, let me see how big I, like I think I see what you did. You know, close it. Okay, so this is, I'm going to do the rubber band again. Where am I? All right, so here's my piece. Mm -hmm. And I'm just wrapping the rubber band around the end like this. 
I'm really good at the rubber banding, so it might take you a little time to get. <laughs> That's one, and then turn and then do the other end, same way. And the nice thing about this, if you like the lines, you know those lines, those thin lines. If you loose, if you bring the rubber band like a bring a piece of the rubber band out, that's what creates those wonderful little tiny lines. So yeah, that looks perfect. That looks good, Tina. That's good. All right. Okay, yep, you got it. Arnett, you got it. Miss Gwen got it. How you doing, Mary Beth? Uh, I just showed mine. You got it. All right, <laughs> we're moving on to the next one, all right? You just learned this pattern. Okay, so remember what you just did gives you this stripe pattern. Because you got to decide what you want to do when you do your bag. You can. We're going to learn three patterns, and when you get to the bag, that's what you're going to. That's what you're going. You're going to make a choice. So the next one is pretty simple. It's going through the same thing. But, so, take your other one. Take your other piece of fabric. Do the same back and forth fold. So you get it long and thin like that. This one's going to get a little more tricky, but it's, it's so, so Jackie, just quickly, everybody should have like three pieces of fabric in their tote, correct? Yeah, everybody has should have three pieces. OK, so you can use your second one now to do this piece. This next. Yeah, one. this is your second your second uh, fabric. Thanks. Are you doing it, Martha? <laughs> oh, do you not have? Oh, there you go. Can you unmute Martha or can I unmute her? Yep, there I go. You found the second fabric? Martha, are you gonna do the second one? Yep. Okay. Mary Beth looks good. Now Good. you're now you're a pro. There you go. There you go. You're going that pretty good over here. Dominique looks good. I like Dominique. Okay. London looks good. Hold it up so Peach I know when you go to the Peach next step. It. Okay, everybody's got it. All right, now, have you if if you've ever done folded a flag? <laughs> uh, this is um this is a folding pattern that's going to create a triangle, like this. Yeah. Or like this. Yeah. So, and to do that, we're going to do the same folding forward, backward, forward, backward, but we're going to go in a triangle now. So what you do is you take your you take your first end and then make a triangle at the end like this. Okay, so just fold it forward, edge to edge, you know, this edge comes across to the other edge here, and then give a, give a little press to this folded edge here. So if I opened it up, it would, it would have a little crease diagonally. Okay, so now we're going to do this back and forth again, but now we're doing it with a triangle. It gets a little, it's a little more difficult, but you can do it. So now, so I folded forward that way on this side. Now I'm going to fold it down and line up the edges. So I keep my triangle shape. Uh, let's see, it's a little. And then you're gonna, so you're going back and forth, back and forth. 
So now I now on this side. So now I'm going to fold it back and forth and just keeping the triangle keep going to the edge. Now I'm going to go the other direction. And then just keep going back and forth down the line until this is the way you fold a flag or I call it, it's also called the diaper fold <laughs> or I call it diaper fold because it's yeah so at the class. end it's looking out so at Damn. the end I got that too see how my end is kind of wabi stop a little off see my right. longer I just fold it up just fold it up Just fold that on up. Okay. It's not it. It doesn't matter if it's yeah. That's you it. That you good. got a funny end like me. I got a funny end too. See, it's okay. Out longer. Yeah. Just fold, just fold it yeah. up. Dominique's looks good. Nikisha's looks good. Perfect triangles. Dom, uh, London, you look like you got it. Yeah. So Mine's this little egg out piece, right. you want me to go back so, with it? It's not huh? coming out right. This little extra piece, do you want me to go back with it? Yep, yep. Okay. Tina, do you want to show us yours and see if we can help you out? Got it. Oh, Maribet coming. got it. Um, uh, I unfolded it again, but it's not okay. coming out right. You want me to? You want so you want me to? I'll I'll uh I'll uh, do it again for you, Tina. Okay. Okay. So the first step is uh, fold that top to a triangle. So you bring the top edge to the side mm -hmm. and make a triangle. So now I folded on this side. Now I'm going to fold on the back side. So now fold it the other direction, but Keep the triangle. Yep, you got it. Oh, Dominique. Dominique, you're cheating because you know this. <laughs> you're flying ahead. <laughs> uh, oh, this one. And then. So it's kind of like if I'm doing it, I'm folding it down. Then I fold it to the side, down and to the side. And then the last one, since I got that funny at bottom, I fold that one, just fold it up. All right. Are we okay? If you want, if you have an iron, this is, then you would iron this. Okay, for the slow people like me, can uh, we do this one more time? Because it's yeah, the material yeah. Is, is different from the other. So it's is I have all of this, but it's that triangle. I can't get that triangle. I can't either. Who's talking to me? I can't. Arnett. Is that huh? Arnett. 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 I think Tina. Okay, okay. I have this. All right, Arnett, you got that. Okay, so. You see this? Do that. This is kind of in reverse, so maybe it's hard. It's easier if you lay it on the on a table. You know, I'm doing it up in the air, but okay. I'm doing it up in the air because um, it's hard for you to see my table. You know, if I'm doing it on the table, but you should do this on a table. So you just my ends oh. are messed up. I guess that that's is I can't really get that. That first triangle you can't get. Okay, so see the see the top edge of your strip here. Yes. Okay, so this top edge is going to come to the side here. So bring that top edge over to the side. I guess the way the material is is sort of throwing me off. Um, oh, I do you have, have like, like some t-shirt material, oh, right? Yes, I have oh, the t-shirt yeah. material. The t-shirt yeah. material is harder. I'm sorry. Some it's, of you have t-shirt material. It's much yeah. harder with the t-shirt material. 
It's okay. All right. But it, it looks like you have it, Arnett. Okay. So now I just need to go the opposite and, and, way. And now, now you just fold it straight down. And then now you bring an edge over to the other. Uh, you have to just keep looking for how to keep the triangle. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, well maybe, okay. Okay. Nope, I'm still doing it wrong because I'm not going back and forth. Okay, I went over. Now I have to come back this way. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. All right, so the rest of you, rubber band, Dominique did hers. Is this it like this? Yep, that's it. Stop showing off, that's Dominique. It. That's it. I know, you th You think it looks- Dang, sure, now. That's crazy. Now you're gonna, now you're gonna rubber band the, these corners. So just ru rubber band. Two of the corners, two opposite corners, I should say, somehow. That like the mine has long corner, you know, long ends. I just rubber band two ends. So the triangle is now squashed. Yeah, you got it, branch. You got it, Mia. Oh, you got the thick rubber bands. Those are harder on this tiny little piece. Do you have thinner rubber bands in your bag, Mia? It'll be hard to do the thick ones, but. Uh, the, th the thicker ones are harder on these tiny little pieces. Yep, Martha has it. Awesome, awesome. Nikisha got it. Okay, Nikisha, that looks good. Thank you. <laughs> Mayor Bet, how you doing? Oh, you got it. Okay, great, great. And Tina, did you get it? I can't see. I don't know. Is it? Yeah, that's right. You got it, Tina. Do the other end. Oh, oh. Well, you would need to. Yeah, I can't see. Well, oh, they're at the very end, but. If I were you, I because those it will come off in the dye. It's better to get them nice and solid, you know, like not right at the end of the corners. It's better to get it somewhere closer to the center because uh, because those rubber bands will slide off when they're in the dye pot. Stop, Carr. So. Are you doing another one? Nia, didn't you get it already? Are you redoing it? <laughs> that looks good. Like same thing with you. I would yours are too close to the end, Mia. Uh, so I mean, you don't you don't have to do it over again, but they need to be in far enough so that they wouldn't come unraveled easily in the um, Miss Gwen. Yeah, you we really want it to be tight. See how see how how it's so tight that it's pinching the triangle on mine. You want it really, really tight, all like not at the not at the tips here. You want it kind of in towards the center, so it doesn't come off in the dye, because these these get mixing it with the stick and they get tumbled around a lot. Better, much better, branch. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So this one we just did is the Starburst. 
Where's my starburst? Okay. You just did this pattern. Is that it? No, that's not it. You didn't do that pattern. Here, you just did this pattern. This is the pat. This is what you just did. So it's like, isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. I mean, well, you have those of you who have already done workshop. Everybody starts the workshop saying, "Yeah, yeah, I'm doing this. Not very good at this." Right, Dominique, and then it comes out, and it's fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay, last one. This one's so easy. So the last one, we did the square. Oh, what did we do? Oh, we did the square. I think that for the last one, let's do the circle. Let's do a circle. So, oh, I wanted to tell you that um, when we're doing this, one of the things I told you, you can use shapes, one of the shibori techniques. So what you just did, you made these triangles. So one thing that you can do is to get more of the color of the fabric to be, to stay. So let less dye penetrating and you get more uh, more white, or if you're using white fabric or more of the fabric color, is you fan before you tie up the ends, you can use these shapes. This is what I use. Um, actually, that's what I use to get a lot of this yellow to, to be here, to come through, is you use, uh, these are pieces of wood that are in a shape, but you can use any shape. Uh, you know, you could use a rectangle shape, you can use a, a, a CD, you can use a, a CD, um, what do they call them, jewel boxes, you know, and old CDs, those plastic, pieces of plastic, anything. And then um, when we do the workshop in person, if we ever, when we get, when we get to the in-person <laughs> part, right, <laughs> we're going to do this. And then you just do exactly what you did. Well, you're buying, you're rubber banding the, the blocks into the, into the triangle, uh, over the triangle. So you would end up like that. And that, that does something more that, that uh, creates um, a different pattern, which is good to know. So let's see, let's do the last one. Take out your last piece of fabric. We're going to do the circle. So we're going to do this. All right. Okay. So you're going to stick your finger in the middle of the cloth. All right. I have a square piece of cloth. And it doesn't matter if you're rectangular you'll cost. I mean, you could do it anywhere, but we're going to do, I'm going to teach you just doing it a center circle. So put your finger in through the cloth and then press through and just twist it a little bit. Twist it so that it gets thinner and thinner and it's all twisty. And then take your rubber band and wrap, like hold it with your hand and wrap a rubber band right over your hand there. And now I got a little, little ghost guy. Okay. So the next rubber band, I have to go, hold on a second. I gotta get rubber bands. So the next one, twist twist, twist the top, and try to hold it and then rubber band it. So I got two rubber bands in there. So you could do just two, you could stop right there. 
Uh, let's see, I can tell you this one has, this has one, two, three, four rubber bands. Okay, so, and so keep going, twist, rubber band. And want it to be nice and tight. Tighter the better. Now I have three. And if you still got room, you want to try it. If you still got room, I think I don't have enough room for another rubber band on mine. So I might put one down below. Here. All right. Well, we got it. That's more of, this is kind of the traditional, you know, spider pattern of, Tie dyeing, we just did. Good. Like, <laughs> so, like gosh, this, Dominique. Those are going to have some nice lines. Everybody's got it nice and tight. I see. Uh, Branch, yours is nice and tight. Good. If you, if you need to, if you, you don't. Too. Did I do two? No. Is you going to dye dye them too? No, I'm not going to dye these. I mean, I mean, if you want, if you. I guess if you want to dye them, I can dye them. I mean, that's, I didn't give you cloths that were kind of finished, but if you want to dye them, put them in, put them in with your bag. I'll dye them. Okay. So just, just if you want to dye these little tests that you did, just uh, put them in your bag with your name tag so I can mark, mark your, your piece before dyeing it and I'll dye them. Just so you, I guess it's a, you know, it'd be a way for you to see what what you did, and then the next time we talk, I can you can show me and you can say why did this happen, and I can I could look at it and say tell you what why it happened. So you all aren't going to be doing the actual dyeing. If we were doing an in person workshop, you would be doing the dyeing. Oh, that looks good, Sydney. That looks great. So you would be doing the dyeing with me. Um, as all, many of you know, already know, you all, you've done it. So, Miss Gwen, that looks good. You got a big piece of cloth. Sorry about that. I hope it wasn't too hard to work. <laughs> um, okay, so we have those. So you have three pieces. And now we're going to move on to your bags. Ta-da. So these are going to be your bags to keep. And you can decide what process you want to do. So I did one bag. This is, uh, I did a bag with the triangle one, the folding. It looks like a mess, but here, this side you can see. So I did, I folded the bag. So remember, if you do the, I'm going to just go through it really quickly. So I would take, um, the lengthwise, the bag's kind of, well, they're kind of square, so it doesn't matter. So I would take the bag. If you have an iron, definitely use the iron because this will make it easier for you to fold and crease. All right, so I made my halfway crease, but if you don't have an iron, that's okay. You're going to fold, fold up halfway. Fold it the other direction and then fold it again in the other direction. So I did how many folds? So it's in four sections. I have folding halfway, folding back, and folding once more. So it's the long, long ways. And then if you have an iron, definitely use the iron on the edges. I have a steam iron. Okay, 
All right, so choice number one, just do the square fold, do the same thing in the opposite direction. That was the first thing we did, back and forth, back and forth, and make a square. You could do that. And then rubber band the end. If you want to do um, the triangle, so we're going through the triangle, hold it, edge to the top edge to the side to make the first triangle. You have to make a good triangle at the beginning in order to sort of get it all the way. So if you're making the triangle, back and forth, keeping the triangle shape. And then just don't worry about, you know, the last piece being not the exact sizes of the rest. Just fold it up so you got a triangle. And then the And then grab a rubber band. If you have thick rubber bands, this, is, this would be a good, you could use a thick one. Um, might be easier to do it with a thick one, I'm not sure, but or thin one will give you those thin lines though. So if you wanted like big white bands, big white stripes, then use the thick one. If you want thinner lines, use the thin one. So when you got to the end, did you fold this little part too? Yep, back? fold it, yep, fold it back. Fold it back, okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, but yeah, fold it back and then and then rubber band it. Okay. Could you show me the triangle again, please? Sure, sure. Okay, did you get, are you there with this? Yes. You got that part. Okay, so now put the uh, put the straps away from you. You're gonna fold, not the, you're gonna start folding on the bottom of the bag. So put the straps away from you, and then fold up a triangle like this. So I brought the the edge that's closest to my body to the right side for my first triangle. Okay, and then. Now, if you turn it over, fold it, fold it down. So that, so, so I went, folded in one direction, then folded back in the other direction. Then I folded it in the opposite direction again. Always the opposite folding direction that you just did. So you go. Fold one way, then you fold the other way. Is this making sense? And then I have a little bit left here, so I'm just gonna fold it up. So I have a good triangle on one side. On the back side, it's a mess, but on one side, I have a good triangle. It's really not a mess because it works out just beautifully. It just has a regularity. Let me see, Dominique, let me see. You're not tight enough. You gotta have a tighter bind, I think. Wait, bring it closer to me, Dominique. I can't, can I see it in a different direction? Oh. You went all, you did the rubber banding every which way. Well, that would be fine. It, did you start out, did it look like a triangle when you started rubber banding? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, then it'll be fine. You're just gonna have this interesting variation, which of course, you know, will be beautiful. That's the nice thing is, you know, if it looks like once, it, you know, if you get a, any semblance of a triangle while you're going or the square or the geometric shape, in the end, all the little goofy things that happen turn into interesting, strange design patterns. Can I do the square? You can do the square, yeah. Go ahead. 
So, so the square, just same thing, straps away from you and just fold up, back, up, back, up. And this is the square. And then I would rubber band the ends. And make sure you're nice and tight. Sometimes, let's see, the bags, I can get three rubber band turns on one end. So if you can get three, three bands, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What about this part? What? What about this part? How many did you get? We just did three. I know this the same one. Oh, 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 this. So I think this, well, first of all, it's really hard because it's not iron. I didn't iron all the straps. I ironed the bags, but I, what I think it would be best is full, grabbing, grabbing the um, straps, fold them in half because to dye them, it's the, the tighter the whole thing is, the better. So take the strap, fold it in half, and uh, put put a rubber band around it. Just like we were doing with the, uh, you know, and a nice tight rubber band around it, and then um, and then. Just smash it against the, just smash it against your, uh, your uh, the other part and rubber band it again so that it's better so it it so it doesn't flop around in the dye pot. So, so I just made it a nice blob, and this will hold together. <laughs> this will hold together when we dye it. So. You're not hearing these dings on, that I'm hearing, are you? Sorry. My husband's having a text message with some friends. Um, how are we doing? So with the, I'm sorry. So with the uh, circle pattern with the bag. Mm -hmm. You I wanna do the circle my, pattern? Uh, with, I took my do, strap in. What? I took oh, my you, strap oh, you tucked the strap bag. in? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So that's fine. then do I just like like we did the fabric, just go up the middle of the bag? Yep, that's what I would do. I mean, yeah, if you want a circle in the center of your bag, uh, then yeah, that's what I would do. I'm going to do it for you right now too, so you can okay. follow. I'm do this one. Okay. All right, for the circle. So you folded it in. You could fold. I actually, I'm. Don't fold the straps in. It'll mess okay. up with the circle. Um, you go to the center of the bag with your finger, and then and grab it. Twist it around a little bit and rubber band just above your hand. And just do, just keep doing that. We twist it tight because we want to make it nice and okay. tight. The twisting makes it nice and tight uh, so that the dye, uh, you get nice crisp lines. Don't forget to put your name on your tag, ladies, and before you take the, um, before you lose the straps of the tote. So put your name on the tag, make sure the tag's on the bag. Good, yeah, Sheila. For sure. I don't wanna be terrible to go through all this and then you don't know what you did. Mm. Uh, I can do one, I got four on there. I put one down low again and then you can either leave this you know i'm i'm sorry who's doing their bag that way you are nikisha you're doing it right nikisha. okay mm -hmm. so nikisha when the when you get to the end like this where you have all these little things sticking out 
You can either leave them because mm -hmm. they'll turn the dye color. Actually, I should ask you what color you guys want to do. If you want to do blue or you want to do um, red. Red? For me, I'm going to put it on my tag. <laughs> well, I, everybody, I can't do, I'm doing it one, everybody has to decide on the color. Oh, okay, okay. So maybe we'll take a vote. We should write, everybody should write in the chat, it's 16 people. What color, you said blue or red? Yeah, why don't you do that? Can you can you write in the chat blue, what, blue or red? Is this okay? Let me see. Who said that? Tina. 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 Where are you? Oh, I have something blocking you. Hold on. From London. From Mia's phone. Oh, I'm getting Mia's message. From Mia's phone to everyone. Blue. Oh, I'm hearing seeing the message. Wait. I'm sorry. You must be at the bottom of my screen, Tia. I oh, know you're not. Where are you? Oh, there you are in the middle. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. That looks great. That looks good, Miss Gwen. This is Tina. I know, but Miss Gwen I, I oh. Miss Gwen did it, showed me hers too. Okay. Yeah, Tina, that looks good. Mary Beth, are you okay? Yeah, I know you did. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. just pretty lost. What what I'll do with this one? What you have? I mean, like this. Oh, those. That's the strap. So the strap, just fold it in half. Is that what you're talking about, Maribet? Is that the strap? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So take the ball, the whole bundle of straps. Okay. Like this. Fold it in half. Okay. Fold it in half towards the towards the bag okay. part and rubber band, do oh. a rubber band around that. Do a, do, I would say do two rubber bands. And uh, yeah, two. And okay. if you have a thick one, a thick rubber band, you know, these straps aren't gonna, it's gotta be really thick because other, they, um, it won't show up on the strap unless it's really tight. You won't see the lines. But so you have to make sure the rubber band's really tight on the strap. Okay. So um, I'm what trying to remember. Nikisha, so what I wanted to tell you, Nikisha, is if you wanted to, if you, you have these little pieces hanging out, if you wanted to um, do another rubber band, you can rubber band the ends of them. So you'll have little circles at the corners of your bag too. You know, so you have like the four points of your bag are sticking out now. Mm -hmm. And so if you take each of the points and just rubber band the end of it, like, like this. Okay. And then if you just rubber band the end of it, you'll end up with a circle at the end of all the corners of your bag too. So you'll have a big circle okay. in the middle and then little circles in the corners. What you all need to do is to get a picture of your bag to me and send it to me. So you know, your, your little creation, you, like yeah. you, you've got to take a little, take a, a little picture of it and you can send it in the group chat to me or to my, just text it to me. All right. Is everybody good? Yes. I got to try. <laughs> so, so now that you've used up your bag as a piece of shibori, you need to put all your stuff in a plastic bag. <laughs> so get a just get a grocery bag or you know a you know a shopping bag or you know a plastic bag. So it's we don't have a ton of bags heavy. Yeah, Pre a preferably bag. just like a jewel bag or something um and then make sure and then tie your name tag to that plastic bag and put all your shibori pieces in there so then i'll we'll be all set and then um we don't have i don't know when we're going to do the next one uh dd Dee Dee, but um the, uh, we can do another if you're if you'd like another workshop so we can 
look at your pieces, show each other the, your pieces after I dye them. You know, I'll dye them, get them back to you before the next workshop. So it'll probably be maybe two weeks from now might be good. Um, and then uh, if you're interested in, you know, learning more techniques, then I'll do another workshop. Okay. Yeah, we probably will wait till, um, so what we're gonna do, Jackie, everybody's gonna take their pieces the problem, Jackie, right now is getting them picked up because I'm not in town. So we'll figure that out. We'll figure out. Oh, well, we can figure that out. Actually, Zooming, I don't want to offer, but I think I'm Zooming in might, town. might, Zooming, it might, um, might be, uh, she's volunteering for this workshop. Okay. So we can work <laughs> out something. Then I can, I mean, I can work with her in terms of how to pick them up. And what we'll probably do is the place that you got them from is a place that we'll pick, we'll pick up them up. From so, um, whoever you got your bags from is a person you want to put them back to, and then I'll we'll have them picked up from that location. So, zooming doesn't have to go to sixteen different places; she has to go to yeah four different places or four different places. Yeah. Um. So wait a minute. I was going to tell you what we had in terms of the vote. Did everybody vote for what color they wanted? I haven't seen everybody voted yet. So I've got one. Two, three for red at the moment, and one, two, uh, three, four for blue. Unless we're gonna, anybody else gonna vote? You better vote now because if you voted already, don't vote again. But um, blue or red, because we're gonna make a decision here on blue or red. We got a purple. Well, we don't do purple. <laughs> I don't. I actually don't have purple. <laughs> if, I think we tried to do make purple in one workshop and it didn't quite turn out like that. We have another we have another blue person and one more red. So we're a little bit I think we're still uh, one um, two. excuse me. Uh, did, did, did you this get friend. my color? Yep, did I got you your color, color, this friend. I saw it. You said okay. red. Right, right, okay. I got you. Yeah, I think we're Okay, still you blue. know what? Uh, it's since it's so split, I think I can do both. So just write <laughs> on your name tag red or blue okay just let your name take you out red or blue so she can make sure she gets the right color for you guys okay right? um so put a red or blue on your name tag underneath your name and um you guys let's just tell jackie and zooming thank you so much for this workshop oh, all right thank you thank you thank You're very well thank you jackie it's really fun thank you. Thank you. i can't wait to see it <laughs> Yeah, so three very uh, different new techniques. I'm excited to see what happens, you guys. Thank you, Miss Jackie. You're oh, back. You're welcome, Tina. Great to have, see you again soon. Back to you. Mm -hmm. so, Great to see you guys so, again. Thank you. Miss Jackie, what? you want these two? Yeah, give them to me. Oh, oh okay. you have a, bl a blue one. No, you can't do I got blue. dark color, Sorry. two dark and the, one white. Give me the white one. Okay. Sorry, but if you That's have a, a pattern one, you, I can d dye those too. I mean, if you oh. have, if it's dark, I can't, I can't dye that. What about okay. these? What? But actually, you know, if you want to look at what it's like, um, Branch, you could, if you have, uh, if you just soak it in bleach, in uh, half bleach, or like a, like a little bit of bleach and water. And water. You can it in. And you can see, and then let just you can see it change color in there, and then pull it out, rinse it, and then you'll you'll see the pattern at least. Okay, so do do I have to let it dry first before I take any of the rubber bands off? No, no, oh, you don't. Once it's in there, it's in there. Yeah, once it's, once it's can I use both colors? And just wash it right away. Otherwise, you know, take the rubber bands and then rinse it out, you know, really good. Otherwise, okay. you, you will, you know, keep going. Okay, I'm going to do these then. <laughs> can you do both? Wait, one person at a time. Okay, London, go ahead. I keep trying to hear you. Can you do both colors on that? Can I get red and blue? Sorry, no. Yeah. Oh, you can make my strap blue and <laughs> the bottom red. <laughs> I fixed it and everything for you. This blue, this going to be red. I can't do that. Sorry. Not, it doesn't uh -huh. work. That way. It's good. I'd have to, I mean, uh, the only thing I could tell you, no, because it'll just turn out purple. So. Oh, well. 
purple, cool. I mean, it won't be purple, but it'll be a combination. It'll be magenta. It will be white, but it won't be two different colors. Change. So we send the rubber bands 